also going well this season. Uh, Seamus Derbyshire, the 19-year-old from the city of Stoke. And he goes here in lane four. There's Max Shop of Stevenage on the outside, running in lane seven here. As I mentioned, just five athletes involved. He's brought his personal best down to 52.73. Stating us out there. Chris McAllister of Thames Valley Harrier. Again, he was just delighted to get that standard in Bidgosh. The European Team Championships ran so well. It's a, it's a decent standard, 49.30, and he ran 49.28. Connor Henderson of Glasgow goes in lane 5, 53.05 this season. So here is Seamus Derbyshire. Looks every inch, she's 19 years. But 50.86 is very impressive at 19. And they'll be looking to chase McAllister down here. Tyree Donovan goes on the inside in lane three. Another youngster, just 20, down to 51.30 this season. But the four fastest losers at the moment, you've got Jack Laurie, Di Green, Alex Daly and Alex Nibs is the man in the most precarious position, his 51.75. One automatic qualifier and the four fastest losers. So one winner here, perhaps, if someone else can get quicker than 51.75. And they will be the target for Seamus Derbyshire. But Chris McAllister, if he runs to his potential, training partner of Jacob Paul is already through, then he should take victory. The final heat, basically a semi-final, the men's 400 metres hurdles in Chris McAllister, lane six in the late side, and already making group, good ground moving of Glasgow, uh, inside in lane five, a uh, strong run so far as well from Seamus Derbyshire, but Tyree Donovan's gone off quickly as well, just five in this heat, and uh, Chris McAllister sometimes looks just a little bit ragged going over the barriers itself, not unlike uh, Jacob Paul, he's got a bit of a head back style and arms fly a little bit. And Tyree Donovan, is he going to pay now for the man outside him, Seamus Derbyshire? Uh, Donovan went on very, very quickly with Seamus Derbyshire, might have measured his run a little bit better. They're chasing times because surely Chris McAllister, the quickest in Britain this year, is a long way clear. He's going to take the automatic qualifying. And it's a, oh, and uh, Derbyshire's gone. He was in second place and chasing a time and it's all come undone. Big win for uh, Chris McAllister, long way clear, 50.85. And what a shame for the youngster behind him who jogs in now to the applause of the crowd. That was painful. Again, that is, you can sometimes just get a little bit lower with your lift, with your clearance, I guess, an extravagant dip across the line. He takes it in good part, but he had a chance of going through to the final. So when he calms down, he'll, uh, he'll think about that and be rather more regretful. But again, your legs get tired, the lactic's building, and you just don't get quite the same lift, and you think you are, but you're not getting that clearance, and he hit that barrier, and down he went. But Chris McAllister with the win, as expected, and he moves through, and looks good. Yeah, you're right, you know, you, you feel with Chris, you still get the grips, kind of, with, you know, the, the event and his technique, and... Um, when he gets it right, he's very, very good. And you know, the good thing about him is he's very strong off the last two flights. You can see here, takes it nicely and starts to check around. Sadly, uh, Derbyshire takes a, a, a pretty horrendous hit and does a full somersault. I mean, he's, he seems okay. I'll, I'll bet he's a bit tomorrow morning when he gets it. We maybe feel it out a little bit, but maybe got a view of it here. He was definitely coming through to get second. I'm not sure he would have run quick enough to get a fastest qualifier time because McAllister was 50.85 steps on that last barrier. I think it's going to be an interesting race tomorrow. I'm not sure that McAllister showed enough there to say he's totally dominant. I think there was uh, particularly that second heat with Jacob Paul and uh, Laurie. The other thing I would say about Derbyshire is he was finishing like a train there. He was starting to go away. I think it would have been close. You're right. There was a big gap, but I still think it would have been close. To, I think he could have got 51.75 for Alex Nibs found himself. But anyway, Chris McAllister, a long way clear. Again, the class of that field. And uh, good that Seamus Derbyshire can laugh about it for now. Anyway, many years and many events to come for him at 19. Chris McAllister... Again, we remind you, he has the qualifying standard, the only British athlete to have that standard of 49.30. So for him, it's all about the win. Even getting in the top two would be good enough to ensure that he is running in Doha.